So we've spoken about uh, other forms of incomplete combustion. Um, what we're going to have a look at now is we're going to have a look at sooting. So sooting is incomplete combustion. This is where not all of the wax, not all of the fragrance is fully combusted with the oxygen in the air. So you do get sort of carbon deposits coming off the candle. Now, sooting is something that is entirely unavoidable uh, to some degree. However, there is a specific European standard or EN standard um, which deals with sooting and gives an absolute value for the amount of soot which is acceptable uh, within a certain time frame. We have other videos about um, sooting behavior testing and fire safety testing. Soot is usually seen when you have a flame which is disturbed um, and it can also be because of poor wick selection. Um, and you will also find that as a candle burns down towards the bottom of the vessel, especially if you're using container candles, uh, as the candle burns down towards the bottom of the vessel, there will be less oxygen available uh, and that system will uh, have a much higher likelihood of sooting. So a candle which appears to be clean burning at the top may actually be uh, relatively sooty when you get down to the bottom. As you can see, these candles have burnt down all the way to the bottom and you have a uh, soot ring around the edge of the vessel. So uh, wicking correctly is an important part of minimizing sooting. So one of the things that you need to be aware of is the fact that different wick families are more suitable for um, certain wax types. For example, uh, vegetable waxes, uh, for example, RCX, Golden Wax 464. Um, wick families such as CL wicks, uh, Stabilo wicks are perfectly suitable for those. If you are using a paraffin or paraffin blend, uh, things like uh, LX wicks or TG wicks are more suitable for those. Um, they are designed in a specific way to work better in a specific wax. So if you've put the wrong wick, into the wrong blend of wax, it can increase the amount of sooting that you have uh, just because of the different chemical treatments and the different braid patterns of those particular wicks. Wick size is also a key factor. Uh, as we've seen um, with a lot of things, the most difficult part of candle making is getting a correct the, the wick selection correct. So an appropriate wick size for the size of the vessel that you're looking for um, will minimize sooting as well because it will give an appropriate fuel flow which will minimize that incomplete combustion which again will lower the propensity of that um, candle to start sooting towards the top of the um, towards the top of the burn. Another thing that can contribute to sooting is flame height so um, there is another European standard which deals with fire safety and that details the absolute maximum flame height to be 75 millimeters. Now this is a very, very large flame. Most uh, of the candles that you'll be looking to produce, we suggest between a 25 and 30 millimeter flame is ideal. So if you're getting a significantly larger flame, it could be that uh, your candle is over wicked it is burning too hot and um, it could cause sooting to increase. 